this mass is offered as a memorial mass for Mr. Daniel Cardos and also for the following departed souls. Father Rudolf de Kuna, Thomas Saldana, Sidney, Albert, Rosie, George, and Merlin James, John and Celestine de Souza, Bernadette and Benedict Morais, S. Amalraj and A. Selva Mari Nadar, Susa Marian, Arokiam and Mathuran Dharan, A. T. Coutinho, Leo de Souza, Siriaco and Gregory Fernandez, Edwin Vaz, Mr. and Mrs. Carmine Crasto, Paul and Pramila, Mr. and Mrs. Philomena Crasto, John de Souza, Celine de Cuna, Dorothy Sequera, Miss K.V. Rani, Cyprian Pereira, Metildis Heredia, Valerine Cardoza, Joseph Xavier Fernandez, Francis Gomes de Mello, Iris Gomes de Mello, Raymond and Teresa Lobo, Dominic de Souza, Isidore de Costa, Joe and Chandini Berry, Kevin Francis, Lavina Morais, Ronald and Eliza Fernandez, Rita Maria de Souza, Stephen de Souza, Eric, Sybil, Jerry, Joyce, Dennis, Rita, and Peter, Peter Ambosta, Morris Kevin Fobler, Blanche and Marlo Aguiar, Marcos de Mello, Joyce Falcon, Mary Pereira, Salvador and Morais Sequera, Cyril and Francis John Mascarenas, Godwin Matthias, Maggie and Montu Pinto, Joseph and Eliza de Souza, Francis Narona, Mariam and Ophis P, Antonio Menino Fernandez, Martina and Valerian Pinto, Richard and Georgie Fernandez, Anthony, Maria, Francis, Lodovina de Cuna, Llewellyn Couto, Irene Mascarenas, Dominic de Souza, Baptist Matthias, Maxi, Xavier, and Lucy de Souza, Michael and Teresa Furtado, Florine, Frederick, and Magdalene Rodericks, Frederick Matthias, Pius Ronaldo Cotino, Teresa Cornelio, Francis de Mello, S. Francis and German Montero, Piad and Ephrigina Sequera, Frederick and Alice Crasta, Lucy Sequera, Isidore de Costa, Lavina Morais, Mr. and Mrs. E. O. Molin, Daniel Anthony and Tharsal de Souza, for the souls in purgatory. For the souls of the deceased members of the following families, Pereira, de Souza, Ambosta, Aguiar, de Mello, and James. Thanksgiving for birthday remembrance, for good health and finances, for all the favors received and special intention. Thanksgiving to Our Lady of Wellenkenny, Sacred Heart of Jesus, Mother of Perpetual Succor, Saint Anthony, Mary Help of Christians, Saint Jude and Infant Jesus. In today's readings, we learn of how God provided for the physical needs of his people with manna and quail in the desert. Jesus, 
the bread of life, offers us his body and blood as an everlasting food and sustenance for our spiritual needs. Today, we also celebrate Vianney Sunday. Let us recall all the priests who have been instrumental at various stages of our lives. As we participate in this Eucharistic celebration, we thank our Heavenly Father for all our priests and ask Him abundant blessings on them. Good morning, friends. Good morning, Father. And a very warm welcome to this Holy Eucharist. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, as we've gathered here this Holy Eucharist, we offer this Mass for all our prayers and for all our thanksgiving in a very special way. Today we celebrate Vianney Sunday and let's remember all those priests who have been instrumental, all those priests who have given us sacraments, baptism, communion, confirmation, marriage and various other sacraments. We ask the Lord to bless each and every priest. We pray for priests who have come and served in our parish. We remember them in a special way and we ask God to bless them. Please pray for all of us, for all our priests in our own parish. Father George, Father Gavin, Father Maria, Brother Kenneth and myself continue to pray for us, pray for our good health and our ministries. And as we come before God, my dear brothers and sisters, we offer him all our prayers and intentions. And for the times that we have failed and gone far away from God, let us ask him for his mercy and pardon. Together we say, I confess to Almighty God and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, bless Mary, a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May he forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen.
is it now all praise and thank this mighty god of ours as we sing the gloria and merciful God who made the priest St. John Vianney wonderful in his pastoral zeal grant we pray that through his intercession and example we may in charity win brothers and sisters for Christ and attain with them eternal glory through our Lord Jesus Christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit God forever and ever A reading from the first book of Kings. In those days, Elijah went a day's journey into the wilderness and came and sat down under a broom tree. And he asked that he might die, saying, It is enough now, O Lord, take away my life. For I am no better than my fathers. And he lay down and slept under a broom tree. And behold, an angel touched him and said to him, Arise and eat. And he looked, and behold, there was at his head a cake baked on hot stones and a jar of water. And he ate and drank and lay down again. And the angel of the Lord came again a second time and touched him and said, Arise and eat, for the journey is too great for you. And he arose and ate and drank and went in the strength of that food forty days and forty nights to Horeb, the mount of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God.
a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brethren, do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, by whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and slander be put away from you, along with all malice. Be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, as God in Christ forgave you. Therefore, be imitators of God as beloved children and walk in love, as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us, a fragrant offering and a sacrifice to God. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, the Jews murmured at Jesus because he said, I am the bread which came down from heaven. They said, Is not this Jesus the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? How does he now say, I have come down from heaven? Jesus answered them, do not murmur among yourselves. No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws him, and I will raise him up on the last day. It is written in the prophets, and they shall all be taught by God. Everyone who has heard and learned from the Father comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father except him who is from God. He has seen the Father. Truly, truly, I say to you, he who believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your fathers ate the manna in the wilderness, and they died. This is the bread which comes down from heaven, that a man may eat of it and not die. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If anyone eats of this bread, he will live forever. And the bread which I shall give for the life of the world is my flesh. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, if I have to ask all of you, what is your favorite food? Maybe you can just uh, ask the person who is sitting next to you. Maybe you can do that right now as you are sitting back at home. Just ask the person next to you, what's your favorite food? Come on, I'll just give you 10 seconds for this question.
I hope all of you have shared with each other. Well, when it comes to food, everyone is so happy. Our mouth starts watering and, and when someone tells us that, you know, I'm going to send you some nice chicken biryani or I'm going to prepare Chinese for you or I'm going to prepare some lovely dish for you, all of us wait anxiously and we are so excited. I remember some people telling, Father, the day I know my favorite food is served on the table, I will skip my breakfast because I want to enjoy my meal. Some will say, I'll fast one day before so that I can eat a little more. And that's what food does for us. Food brings a lot of enjoyment. Food brings a lot of happiness. Food brings a lot of excitement. And also food brings the family together. You know, when we were talking about favorite food, I remember once as a little child that father asking during mass, so my dear children, what is your favorite food? And everyone was shouting loudly. So one little boy went up close to the altar and said, Father, will you give me this if I ask? And the father said, you come after mass. Today my cook has prepared that special dish. All of us are very excited when it comes to food. When we go to a restaurant, we look up to the menu and we'll see which is a new dish or which is my favorite dish and we all like to enjoy it. Jesus also is telling us something similar today. We see that the bread of life discourse continues even this Sunday. And Jesus now reaches a very important moment when he's talking to the Jews and when he's talking to the disciples. But before I come to Jesus, the first reading of today, when we see when Elijah is trying to run away because he knows his life is in danger. And we are told, my dear friends, that Elijah runs, runs to a broom tree. Well, in scripture, each, uh, each place, each mountain, each tree, each, each of them has a lot of significance. And the broom tree also has a great significance. It is like a desert shrub that's there around for people when they want to come and, you know, take some rest in the scorching heat. But spiritual sense, the broom tree reminds us that when there are moments of despair and when there are times of divine encounter, and that's what happens to Elijah. When he's trying to run away, he runs towards his broom tree because he knows that this is a place where perhaps, you know, he could talk to God and tell God that, you know, it is enough now, I want to die. And God does something beautiful in the life of Elijah. As Elijah goes to sleep and not knowing what's going to happen, God sends an angel to him. And this angel tells him that, come on, get up. Arise and eat. There's something beautiful prepared for you. And you know, scripture sometimes is, is so dramatically explaining to us, telling us that there's a nice hot cake baked on that stone with, you know, some nice water place for us. And that's what Elijah does, my dear brothers and sisters. He's fed with the food that God has given him. And we see that as Elijah progresses, he continues to live with the same bread that God supplies him for 40 days and 40 nights until he reaches Mount Horeb, the place of God. Well, all of us will wonder and think that how, how could this be possible? But yes, it is possible. Food always sustains us. Even the little we have, or we eat more, food can always sustain us for some time, for some days. Sometimes some of us will say, oh, I ate too much yesterday. Until today, I can still feel that, you know, food going round and round my tummy. And we enjoy food to the fullest. That's what God has blessed you and me with. The gospel of today, when Jesus goes a little more further, he says that I am the bread of life and you know the Jews are attacking him and saying how can he say this? How can he say that he's come from heaven? Well, he is the son of Joseph and Mary. How can he say that he is the son of God? And Jesus tells us, my dear brothers and sisters, 
that I am the bread of life. He says, anyone who eats this bread will live forever. And that's the difference that Jesus is telling us. In the Old Testament, the people were fed with manna, but they never survived for long. They perished, they died. But Jesus here gives us his own body and his own blood. And he says that whoever eats this bread will live forever. Jesus gives us his flesh. He says, I have come that you may have life and life in abundance. And that is what you and me, my dear brothers and sisters, every day of our life, yes, during this time of the pandemic, we always were anxiously waiting, when will we receive Jesus? And last year, from November, December, January, we were so privileged to come to church to receive Jesus physically, even though it was a lockdown, but yet God made that special privilege for us. And even today, when you are sitting back at home, you may still say that I'm longing to receive Jesus. Jesus will make the way for you because he is the way, the truth and the life. Anyone who follows me will never walk in darkness. And that's what he tells us in scripture. Today he's telling you and me the same thing, my dear brothers and sisters, that my bread, my body for you is sufficient. You don't need anything else. You don't need the earthly food. But the food that I give you, the bread that I give you, will sustain you forever. And that is what the whole world is living on. Every day we have the Eucharistic celebration. I remember some of you sharing and saying, Father, today we realize, today we remember what is the value of the Holy Eucharist when we are sitting back at home and we don't experience, when we don't get to touch the body of Christ, we realize what's the real value. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, the Holy Eucharist continues to live in our life daily. Even when you're sitting at home and you're watching the online mass and when the priest says, this is my body, Jesus is telling you that even in this situation, take and eat. Even in your family problems, take this and eat. Even in your sickness, take this and eat. Even in your suffering, take this and eat. Jesus never fails us. Jesus never leaves us, but Jesus continues to live in you and me. All of us like to give up in life, especially we see when Elijah is trying to run away and God says, come on, hold on, I'm going to give you bread from heaven. The disciples on another hand also wanted to run away, but Jesus says that take this, all of you, and eat of it. Jesus reminding his disciples that I'm going to give you my own body. I'm going to give you my own blood. Do this in remembrance of me. That means, brothers and sisters, even though we may go through the lonely moments of our life, darkest moments of our life, but Jesus reminds you and me that he gives his body and blood daily to us. There's also someone who went through this moment, and that's what we celebrate today, the feast of St. John Marie Vianney. Well, we all know St. John Marie Vianney. Everyone says he was not a brilliant student, and somehow he managed to pass through his seminary studies. But even St. John Marie Vianney wanted to run away from the seminary because he just couldn't study Latin. But one thing that kept him back was his determination to become a priest. And that is what St. John Marie Vianney is inviting you and me today, my dear brothers and sisters, to be determined in whatever we do. It may be the smallest thing to the biggest thing. God looks at your heart. And John Marie Vianney was a simple, ordinary man, being born in a, in a farmer's family. He just lived his life. He did what God wanted him to do. But he had a strong determination. Well, we see that St. John Marie Vianney was inspired by the priest of his time, especially during the French Revolution, when the priests had to run away in secrecy or face execution, and they would celebrate Mass. John Marie Vianney and his parents would run and go miles after miles to attend the Holy Eucharist. 
you and I also do the same thing. We attend online masses one after the other. And why do we attend the online masses? Because God is speaking to us. God is consoling us. God is healing us. God is giving us new life. God is giving us new hope. We also are told that St. John Marie V. Annie could read people's hearts. And that is what Jesus also does. Every time that we come to him, he knows us. We don't need to tell him what I'm going through. We don't need to tell him what I'm struggling. Even right now, when you are attending this Holy Eucharist, he knows your problems. You don't need to tell him what problems you go through because he is the good shepherd of our life. My dear brothers and sisters, as we celebrate this great feast today of St. John Marie Vianney, it's not just the feast of just the priest, but it's the feast of each and every one of us. Because we are all called, like John Marie Vianney, to persevere in our life, to be determined in what we are called to do. And so I invite you today to pray for your priest. To pray for your priest who have maybe died and gone. Pray for your priest who have served you in your parish. Pray for your priest, perhaps, whom you have not remembered for a long time, whom you have not made a phone call, whom you have not spoken to. Pray for them. Remember them. That's what St. John Marie Vianney did. He, rem he re reminded people of what God was doing in their life. Let's pray today in a very special way that God will inspire many young men and women, especially your own children, your own grandchildren, if they tell you that I want to become a priest, encourage them. Tell them that yes, you will become a priest. Pray to God. I remember very well when, when I had his own desire of becoming a priest. Every time I went to my parish priest and he told me, Hey, little boy, you study well. Once you study, then you come to me. But one thing he stressed. He says, Never, never discourage a child to become a priest or a sister. If God is calling him today, encourage him and tell him that you will become a priest. Because God's ways are not our ways. And my dear brothers and sisters, if today God is calling your children to become priests and sisters, send them. God will bless you and your families abundantly. Amen. Let us all stand now and let us profess our faith together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. With faith and trust, let us now place our petitions before God our Father. Our response will be, Loving Father, hear our prayer. Together, Loving Father, hear our prayer. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, bishops and priests, that they may be shepherds after the Lord's heart, drawing people closer to God through prayer and celebration of the Holy Eucharist. We pray to the Lord, loving, loving Father, Father hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our government and political leaders, that they may serve the needs of the marginalized with the wider vision of building a progressive and prosperous nation. We pray to the Lord. Loving, loving Father, Father, hear our prayer. For our parish team, 
that they may be blessed with good health and the abundant graces of a fruitful ministry as they serve our parish community with dedication and enthusiasm. We pray to the Lord. Loving, Loving Father, Father, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For priests who work in the missionary areas and for social causes, priests who are persecuted, priests in spiritual crisis, and for priests who are troubled, lonely, and sick. We pray to the Lord. Loving, Loving Father, Father, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the gift of vocation to the priesthood and religious life. For those studying towards the priesthood. And for retired priests who have worked tirelessly during the prime years of their life. We pray to the Lord. Loving, Loving Father, Father, hear our prayer. prayer. Let us pray for our personal needs. We pray to the Lord. Loving, Loving Father, Father, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for the gift of your Son, Jesus, who is the living bread who comes and reigns in our lives and in our families. We make all these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Bless thy Lord God of all creation for through your goodness we have this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Thy Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Brothers and sisters, in my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offerings of your church, for in your mercy you have given them to be offered, and by your power you transform them into the mystery of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ. Your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Saviour and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim.
indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again, until you come again, until. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that your fellow is worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Cardinal Oswald, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Daniel Cardos, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he was united with his son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. We remember and pray for all those who have died in our families and all those who need our prayers, especially the sick, the lonely, those who are suffering, those who have no one to look after them. Let's pray that the Lord will heal them and touch them. Let's also pray for those celebrating the birthdays, wedding anniversaries today. We pray that the Lord will bless all of them with good health and that He will continue to bless them with all the fruits and gifts of the Holy Spirit. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint John, Marie Vianney, and all the saints who are pleased to draw of the ages, we may merit to be coerced with eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
My dear brothers and sisters, as we say the Lord's Prayer together, we believe that God provides our daily need, our daily bread, and we thank God for every single blessing that He has poured upon us and in our families. And together we say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not to temptation but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the, and the glory, glory are yours, now, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant the peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, St. John Marie Vianney was never sad because he couldn't learn, but he was always happy because he had the bread of life in his life, and that is Jesus. And so today, let us offer each other a very happy and joyful sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold, this is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy, worthy that you should, should enter, enter under, under my roof. Only say the, the word, word, and my soul, soul shall be healed. Of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May the communion in your sacrament that we have consumed save us, O Lord, and confirm us in the light of your truth through Christ our Lord. Prayer for healing and protection from the coronavirus. Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere, hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for an efficacious control of the outbreak, for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. We thank you for blessing the efforts of our research scientists 
working on the development of a vaccine. We pray that these vaccines be effective in combating the virus and its mutants and in controlling the spread of the pandemic and be available to all. We pray for the doctors, nurses and health workers who are in the front line of this battle, that they may be kept safe and have the strength and courage to continue their heroic efforts. We pray for the government and health authorities that they may take appropriate steps for the good of the people. O merciful God, keep us safe and give us your peace. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. On this day, the feast day of the clergy, I want to thank you, my parishioners, my friends, for the prayers that you offered for us, that you offer for us daily. I know many families at the family prayer, at the rosary, remember the priests. Thank you for your wishes. Thank you for all that you will do for us today and you do for us every day and uh, throughout this year. After this, after the final hymn, we're going to have a four or five minutes of celebration, cutting of the cake. The parish council members have organized that and then maybe something very short. But in the evening, there'll be an ask program beginning at 7.30 p.m. I don't know what that program is. None of us fathers know about it. Parish council members and a few parishioners have got others and put together something for the clergy. And I understand they have called it this Vianney Sunday know your clergy. I don't know what more they are going to tell you about us that you don't know. But that's the title, know your clergy. I've been only asked to announce this. Along with the fathers, I will watch it on Sunday and then know how much more they're going to tell you about us. I hope they have not caught up some secrets about us that even we don't know. Anyway, thank you for this uh, show of affection. Uh, in fact, on the clergy, today, on this clergy day, the parish council has organized the breakfast for us and the lunch and the dinner for us, you know, the getting things together. Um, thankfully, thankfully, some parishioners are sending us food before and after the clergy day. Otherwise, we may get everything on one day. It reminds me of a couple. It was the 50th birthday of the wife. And the husband said, today I'm going to give you 50 kisses. And the wife said, no. Today, only one kiss will do. That 49 you reserve, at least give me one kiss once a week for the next 49 weeks. And so I'm very happy that, you know, we're not getting all the food on one day. People are staggering out and sending us some goodies. So we get it for many more days. Thank you so much for this show of affection. Today we also have the first communions in the parish. They made their first confession on Thursday and today morning and evening we have 40 children who will receive Jesus in their hearts for the first time. There are competitions and performances during the parish tree doom and on the feast day. The last date has been extended to tomorrow, Monday the 9th of August. So all those of you who still want to send videos, send it by tomorrow, Monday, the 9th of August. 
by evening. If you have difficulties, doubts, get in touch with Father Clifford or with any one of us. Thank you so much for your wishes, blessings and prayers. God bless you too. After Father George made an announcement about uh, having a grand celebration and food, my mouth was already watering behind. So anxiously waiting for the evening's program and uh, once again for the grand celebration of all the priests together. Let's all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Thank you, friends, for joining us in the Holy Eucharist. God bless all of you, and let's celebrate Vianney Day together. Good morning, fathers. On behalf of the whole parish, I would like to thank God for showering his blessings on all our priests, those who are here serving us, those who have gone past our into eternal life, and those who are in the clergy home. We pray for them. We pray for your good health. And God give you all the wisdom, the power, and strength to serve the parishioners of St. Pius X. A small prayer, Lord Jesus, we, your people, pray to you for our priests. You have given them to us for our needs. We pray for them in their needs. Let them see you face to face in the breaking of the Eucharist bread. St. John Mari Vianney, Praetor of all priests, pray for you. Amen.
Thank you so much, Jude, for speaking and wishing us on behalf of all the parish council, the, par the parishioners, and for this beautiful cake. Uh, we can't share the cake with you, but we can send it online. I mean, as we relish it, uh, e-cake, says Father, the e-cake all of us can enjoy. Thank you.